guys so in today's video I will be sharing some spring and summer tips and ideas that you can use for yourself as well as for your home so let's go ahead and get started so one of the first things that I like to do is to grab some inspiration and so when I'm not in a model home or in a store I like to thumb through magazines to get ideas. And for summer, I like to do outdoor magazines and then gardening magazines. And so these magazines generally will have home decor in them as well, and they will all be summer related. And so you will find beautiful inspiration light and bright and airy and that's the look that I'm going for but if you have a different style of decor just look for that type of magazine to help you with some inspiration for your home and you can pick these magazines up from your local grocer or you can go to a bookstore where you may find a larger variety of styles I also like to thumb through store catalogs or interior designer catalogs. And so if you are interested in receiving some of the catalogs from the stores or certain designers, I think you can just go online and look up catalog requests. These, pretty much this one, the Serena and Lily came in the mail. I didn't um, have to request it. And then of course, Pottery Barn and Our House, we were just there on a store tour. And so I picked those up while I was in the store. And of course, you have your books that you can grab inspiration from as well. I just picked up this Joanna Gaines uh, Magnolia Table Book, and there are some great recipes inside for summer. Okay, so let me go ahead and share how I styled some of these items. And then I have a few more items that I will share in a quick haul. And of course, you guys know I love a candle. And my favorite summer scent is anything with eucalyptus. And you guys might remember I picked up a candle from my latest Goodwill haul. And then guys, I just love a nice cotton throw for the summer. I like it here draped over the basket. So if I'm sitting here in the chair in the mornings and it's a little cool from the air conditioning, I can just grab a throw and then if I need a, a pillow for my back, then I have a few pillows placed in the basket as well. I also like it here on the sofa where I may retire for the evening and just want a little something to throw over my feet as I watch TV. And I don't always use cotton throws in the summer. I like to use my fur ones as well. And all of my throws came from home goods. So you guys know in the spring, I brought in a little blue in my master bedroom and I am going to continue that theme into summer. And so you guys will just have to come back and see how it turns out. And I will be adding just a little bit more blue. So here in the kitchen, I do like to keep things light for summer and so on the island I just have a bowl of lemons because I crave water all the time in the summer and so I love to have water with lemon in it and sometimes when I want to spruce it up a little bit I'll add some of the sparkling pink lemonade or I have a flavored syrup that I add to it and I also like to add this blueberry lavender syrup in my lemonade or in the water sometimes and so like for this weekend memorial day weekend i'll make a punch with um adding the sparkling lemonade and the lavender 
syrup with lemon and maybe add some um, soda or some other sparkling And water. I just like to mix a few things with my lemon water just to have a nice refreshing drink. And of course, I always like to have a candle burning on my island. So lemons have a lot of good health benefits. For one, it is good in vitamin C and they have a lot of fiber in them. And especially if you boil your lemons first with the skin and then make your lemon water. And this water is chilled. So I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkling water. And that just gives it a little bit of fizz and it chills it off a little more. Just add a lemon. Okay, so now you have some chilled lemon water waiting for you with a little bit of flavor. And then it has your vitamin C, it has fiber, and it also promotes weight loss. And I also like to keep a bowl of fruit on the counter. I still believe an apple a day helps to keep the doctor away. And so I was sharing the Joanna Gaines book earlier. And so here on this side, I just opened it up to the doubled egg recipe because that is something that I will be making for this weekend as well. Now I don't need Joanna's recipe because I have a recipe of my own. So I will be making that this weekend. And I just placed that out here on the counter because it's light and it just it gives a little texture to this side but it also keeps it looking light and bright okay and for the summer i also like to keep my artwork pretty light i do switch out my artwork from time to time but for summer i found this um, art piece and i think i shared it before i'm not really sure but i found this at hobby lobby from their spring section uh both art pieces came from Hobby Lobby. The taller one, it actually should be hung um, horizontal, but I turned it the long way so that I could just add a few, a few more items up there on the mantle. And then I just have some um, olive branches coming out of a rustic vase that I got from Goodwill that I gave a rustic finish to. And I just like the way it turned out. The vase, I just wanted to use the vase. It was a little small, so I placed them on a couple of books just to give it a little bit of height. And I think it turned out very nice. It's very light and airy, just what I was looking for. Okay, so over here on the table, I just like to keep a very simple centerpiece. And so what I have here is just a little serving tray. And inside of the serving tray, I just put a little greenery, just something to warm up all the neutral tones. I have this little uh, candle holder that I got from a local store. And I just like the shape on that. And then it just adds a little color to some of the um, lighter ivory tones. And then um, a dish towel that I just put in here for just to add a little bit more color. I have my farmhouse plates. And you guys know that probably in most of my kitchen videos, you will see some macaroons. And uh, so then the other items I have on the table are just a few things that I haul.
And so I just recently picked up these glasses from the Dollar Tree. I like to drink water sometimes out of my wine glasses, but my husband prefers just a regular glass because he likes glasses for juice or tea and we didn't have any they all got broken so i went to well i sent him to dollar tree to pick something that he would like and this is what he came home with and i really like them i like the shape on them they have a nice little texture to the bottom and they're a good size and so he picked up four but i probably will go back and get four more or however many i can find and you guys know their glassware is $1.25 now. And then I picked up these plates. I hauled these plates on our last outing to Target. I didn't get much into the details of them, but I just like a light colored plate for summer. And then these are in the um, plastic. You can't really tell. They are a very nice, um, have a nice matte finish to them. So what I like about the plates is that they have the curved side and I thought that was a nice feature for my grandson so that, you know, he doesn't scoop his food on the floor. And then these dish towels are in like a um, gray chambray and I got these from my local store, Nebraska Furniture Mart. And I just like the texture, I love the color, and they fit very nicely with everything else. And then over here, I love to have a drink outside when we're out in the evening on the deck, but I don't like bugs to be in my cups. And so I found this one with the wooden lid, and the lid, um, you know, fits tightly on. And so I thought that was good for coffee or if I want to drink water, tea, or what have you. It has a lid that completely seals the top. So I only got two for myself and my husband. I also picked the um, like water glasses with a straw because I thought these were nice to have on the outside with lemonade or something. And once again, it has a lid which is pretty much the only way that I like to take a drink out on the deck. And it is deck season, so we'll be going out a lot with our drinks. Okay guys, so for now, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys were inspired and maybe got some tips on how to decorate your home for summer. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye-bye.